Sofa King jump back again with yeah, another Tim's beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is another Belgian beer. And this one uh, was one that uh, this year I had been to Belgium and I uh, had been teasing my mates uh, all about it when we were going over. We were going to be drinking this as a breakfast beer. And of course, it's a uh, Black Albert uh, Imperial Stout. 13% on the Richter scale for this. Lovely artwork on the bottle. We're picking that up or not? It's quite. A, it was quite a hard beer to find. To, to be honest with you, I thought uh, all these beers would be very, very easily picked up in Belgium. But eventually, I managed to track it down a little shop in Bruges, and I bought a couple of them. It was five euros. It was the dearest bottle of beer. Uh, I I paid for it in my time in Bruges. I was really, really quite surprised uh, how cheap Belgium was uh, for craft beers, to be honest, it's, uh, they're beers. I thought uh, you'd pay through your nose, like we do in the UK. So anyway, here's Black Albert. There's been a few reviews of this done. I'll put it in my, my Grim Bergen glass. It's Belgian style glass, so we'll pour it in. See what it's all about. Pours like engine oil. Shout out to uh, Wallace. Uh, that He was the reason we were in uh, Belgium. He chose it as his destination for his 50th birthday. Me, myself, Sofa King Drunk, uh, Wallace, and uh, Prague Stevie. We all went to we all went to Bruges five days, but we done a day in Brussels as well, which was superb. This is where we actually got to taste this beer uh, in Brussels. This is my second time on it. Uh, we tasted it in the Delirium Cafe, and we got rather suitably refreshed that day. <laughs> We had a great day, fantastic day. Uh, shout out to the American lad, uh, I can't remember his name. Shout out to him, we, we met him, uh, he was drinking on his own, he came and drank with us and uh, I think he was from Pennsylvania, if my memory sends me right. Says me right. I've got his email address somewhere, I told him what I was called on YouTube, so I don't know if he's checked me out or not. But I will dig out that email address and I'll send you this video. So anyway, it's got a lovely, lovely, beautiful uh, chocolatey mocha head on it, pitch dark, 13%. It's leaving beautiful lacing on the glass. So we'll go in here for the nose of the, the Black Albert and see what it's all about. Well, it's got a nice, bold, uh, roasted uh, coffee No, Lovely, lovely s smell of... Uh, dark dark chocolate little hint of the uh, vanilla coming up there just keeping that a little bit of uh, light trying to get through the pitch darkness of the the chocolate and the coffee smells a dream I know I know it's an absolute dream to drink so anyway so fucking drunk drinking a black Albert 13 on the Richter scale Slangy father That is smooth. Thirteen percent. You're finding it very, very hard to find thirteen percent in there. It is so good. The coffee smells really quite robust uh, on the nose, but in the mouthfeel, it's nice. It's soft. I wouldn't say it's light, but it's nice and it's soft. The vanilla, you're getting more uh, on the taste. Uh, it's kind of trying to even out all the dark chocolate. A little bit of dark fruit coming through there as well. Like your dark, dark cherries. But in all in all honesty, a fantastic drink. Uh, beautiful stuff. Black Albert. I am privileged to say I have drunk this in uh, Belgium. I tried it in the Delirium Cafe in Brussels. And I think they were knocking that out at seven euros a bottle. Now I bought two of those uh, in a bottle shop in uh, Bruges and two of those cost me 10 euros. Now that's what I'm telling you about Belgium, everybody would think Belgian beers in the UK you're drinking them anywhere in the world, probably in America or Canada if you get a Belgian beer, you pay through your nose for it, you do. 
But in their own backyard, the Belgians do not rip the ass out of the beer drinker. They do not. You can go to bars, you can go to a bottle shop, you can get a nice bottle of beer for like two euro fifty, and then go to the bar and you can drink it for a euro, three fifty, four euro, five euro. You're not getting ripped off like so in the UK. You you go and you buy a can of something shitty and macro, and then. You get it in a pint can and then you go into the pub and you're, you're paying four times what you pay for the can. Not at all. The Belgians have got it right. Uh, they brew absolutely fantastic beer. As well. So light. So... It's just so easy to drink. Like An Imperial Stout. A lot of these uh, Imperial Stout, you would think at 13%. Put on my furniture. You think at thirteen percent, it was going to be <laughs> up to your knees in uh, but mud, trying to get through it. I can't really read. It. it says here ingredients are water, barley, malt, yeast, and candy. Well, I've never seen that before. Uh, on a bottle, and then at the back here it says it's a three thirty bottle, thirteen percent, and it's uh, batch number fourteen. One of a dozen ales that is as black as hell, filthy rich in the nose, and massively spoiled taste. A massive spoiled taste. Well, I don't know what that means actually. If anyone knows what batch zero means, give me a shout. And there's a, a wacky sort of label on it, but it's absolutely corker. Corker of an ale, this. Or as an imperial stout, or whatever you want to call it, it's well, it's actually a Belgian royal stout. Let's even bring that up there and show you. That's what it's classed as. I don't want to tip the remainders of the bottle out. Belgian royal stout. That is royal. It's Rolls Royce royal. That is really really good. So anyway, what am I going to give Black Albert? I'm going to give Black Albert thirteen percent on a Richter scale. I'm going to give that a 9.5 out of 10. That is an absolute cocker of a beer. It's one to sit, it's one to savour with. I've got about a half, about a quarter of a bottle in that there. I'll have about that much left. I'm going to just sit. I'm just going to enjoy it. Just enjoy the notes. Unless you're like my friend Wallace <laughs> in the Delirium Cafe. He had a couple of these bad boys and at the end uh, he had about a pint <laughs> of Black Albert. Which I think actually I've got on videotape at Wallace and they slammed a pint of Black Albert and that's definitely going on YouTube at some point. How can you slam or chug a, a pint of something that is so good as that? So anyway, this is Sofa King drunk drinking a Black Albert, 9.9.5 uh, out of 10, I've gave it 13% on an extra scale. So if you ever had a go at a Black Albert, Drop a line below. If not, get your ass over to Belgium and try some of their beers. You will not be disappointed. Or even get on your mail order, your uh, online, and see if you can get a hold of this. This is absolutely top draw. This would be one that you would buy maybe a couple of bottles. You would drink one when you, as soon as you get it, and the other one would just go away for about five, five years or something like that, and it would taste even better. So next time. In my next lifetime, if there's ever going to be a time if I ever drink again and I come across Black Albert again, I think I would buy a half dozen bottles of that and I would put four on them away and just forget about them for years and years and years to come. Uh, I'm tasting that just now and I don't know how old that is and it, it won't be that old but it's it's Rolls Royce. So anyway, so fucking drunk, babbling on and he's Black Albert. I'll hopefully catch you on our beer review. Slangy Va, keep drinking good beer. Ciao for now.